So today we're going to talk about yet another tool that you can use when uh, prototyping website design or uh, when working on your final project. Uh, and in this particular case, what we're going to discuss uh, is a tool called Gliffy. And um, in, the, in the tutorial on Balsamic, we talked a little bit about how to wireframe the individual diagrams. And in the tutorial about Wix, we talked about how to design the full website. But what we haven't talked about is the part in the middle, right? How do you think about the wireframes for the pages and how they fit together so that you can then build the website from it, right? And Gliffy and other diagramming tools like OmniGraph will really fill that space well. And so the basic idea here is that you're going to be able to diagram how the different wireframes that you've drawn in Balsamic fit together in order to create a website that you can then pass on to a web developer or that you can work from yourself as a team to develop your actual website, right? Uh, essentially what you're creating is an information architecture for the website, um, a form of a sitemap, right? Um, so I'm going to create a new diagram in Gliffy, um, and Gliffy doesn't have a sitemap uh, great. You, by the way, you can also do wireframes in Gliffy, but they have the org chart, and generally a lot of uh, org charts work well uh, for um, a sitemap. So I'm going to create it, I'm going to save it right away, I always do this, it's just... Um, sitemap v3 had already created a couple others so save it away and now i can kind of just drag and drop these shapes onto the sketch pad and kind of label them so this is the home page the main entry page that everyone comes in at right i can add a contact us page i can add say a um red uh, a product uh, about a um, about us page right and then maybe a services page, right? Uh -huh. and then under this, in, and then to connect them, right, to indicate. So the idea here is you enter in the home page, and then you need to get to these pages, right? Well, how do you get to them? You click on something on the home page, and we can indicate that by using the connector tool and the little magnets that are built in to draw links connecting. Oh, and I missed that one a little bit. Connecting the home page to the various other pages, right? And the nice thing is that if we use the connectors in Gliffy and I keep adding content, adding content, I'm like, oh, well, this page is kind of in the wrong place. I can just, oh, didn't mean to do that. I need to switch the tool. I can go back to the pointer tool and I can pick up that page and just move it anywhere I want. And because I use the connectors to connect them, they'll automatically still stay connected, right? Um, and so, you know, I can even create subcategories. So I can have underneath services, for instance, I could have search ads, right? And I could have display ads, right? And so then I can connect all those up. And now I have a, a site map, right? For my website. And this combined with the wireframes, which I could either do in Gliffy or do in Balsamic, uh, will kind of allow us to present um, an example is to present a, a diagram that fully describes the website, right? So once I have this, I can uh, share it with my colleagues, all right? So I can create a share link with them that will allow them to exactly get into this particular Gliffy page and they can modify it, edit it, um, you know, it can allow commenting, editing, viewing. Um, I can also make it publicly viewable on the web, right? So I can share it with anyone. Or I can go over and I can export it. And I'm just using the trial version of Gliffy for this, right? So this is actually going to expire in a, in a little while on me, uh, but I can export it in different formats uh, and kind of get a version of it that way, right? Um, and one of the nice ways, you know, you can also do that is you can just say, make it publicly available on the web, right? Go ahead and copy and paste that, right? And now I have this diagram oh, that is publicly available. Oh, I need to save it, I think, before I do that. So file, save. And now if I reload that page, there it is, right? So now it's publicly available. So that's great. Kind of reminds me of that you need to save before to be publicly available. And in fact, you know, I could kind of show this to people and, and let them look at it in this way. And they can duplicate the diagram, edit it, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Okay. So um, that's a tool that allows you to kind of create information architectures and combine it with the wireframes that you create in Balsamic 
uh, to start to develop and prototype uh, your websites? 